stick yourself in a room, turn off the lights, and just listen, and uh, it's, it's it'll floor you. Yeah, no, it's you're right. I agree, totally agree with you, man. I, I I'm glad you feel the same way. I do. All right, I was about to throw this laptop at you. <laughs> he stinks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he was really an Eskimo, Corey. He, he I bet you didn't know what? that. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was a perm he had. <laughs> no, that was an igloo on his head. Come <laughs> on. That, that, was a, that was a fucking uh, uh, otter that he killed yeah. <laughs> on his head. Uh, okay. Uh, this comes from, uh, hey, you, something you want to tell me, man? What? Because this comes from somebody who calls themselves Baby Co-host 3000. Oh, fuck. No. Uh, no. All right. It says, uh, what baby co-host that? says. Baby co-host, yes. Y'all see this picture? Look at look at that picture right there. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> I see, man. He put a comment on there. He's like, Daddy, do you hate me? <laughs> and I was like, you got all nervous. I, I, you sweat I, oil. I, I still have not written him back. <laughs> all right. He says, what is your take slash opinion on singers in movies? For example, T.I. and ATL, Chris Brown and Stump the Yard, and Justin Timberlake in the movie Alpha Dog. If you read this, thank you. If you didn't, fuck you. Just <laughs> yeah, it sounds like my kid. Yeah, he's not going to say. Yep, he's yours. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let's see. When are you going to sign into MySpace again? Uh, wow, you know what? It's been a long time. <laughs> do, we, do we still have those accounts on there? I don't know, man. Yeah, I, have two I, I never looked. You told me that and I had and one, I, and I, I never looked at it. I have two accounts I haven't looked at in uh, yeah. over a year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Okay, what do you? Let me ask you. What do uh-huh. you think about singers in movies? What do I think about singers in movies? Yeah, the one, like, like, like uh, you, know, you know what? What were you for this question? <laughs> uh, yeah, thinking was, about child I, support. I was just, I was thinking about yeah, the the, <laughs> <laughs> the repercussions who, who, of, of yeah. baby coats. Who the hell was I banging? Uh, <laughs> the toaster again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, you know what? No, I, I don't have that big of an issue as long as they can. I mean, uh, as long as you can act, hey, uh, uh, you convince me that you're playing a character, I'm down. Like, uh, I've always been a huge fan of uh, David Bowie whenever he acts, Mm -hmm. uh, just because uh, whenever I see him act or play a character, I don't think, oh, that's David Bowie. I mean, I think he's honestly, genuinely playing a character, and he's into it. So uh, if he can do it. Yeah, what, what, what's stopping anyone else from doing it? I mean, I mean singing, you're performing. It's 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 in the same vein. You're you're acting, uh, but as long as you're being true to the art and you're not and you're not trying to just promote yourself by throwing yourself in a fucking movie. I mean, come on, I'm, man. Yeah. I'm I'm cool. It's 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 cool. This yeah, has been it? people act like this is something new. No, it's uh, no. Eddie it Cantor, hasn't. Judy yeah. Garland, no. uh, who in the Rat Pack didn't right. sing and act. Frank Sinatra. Uh, have you ever seen a man with the golden arm? I mean, just yeah. to name one of some of his greatest performances. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Manchurian Candidate. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Barbara Streisand. I right. mean, look, uh, Jennifer Hudson recently. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is nothing new. No. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, uh, th- th- people have been singing and, and acting together. I mean, you know, actors have been singers and mm-hmm. vice versa since mm-hmm. movies have come across. I mean, think about, I forgot what's his name, who was in The Jazz Singer. I mean, mm-hmm. that, was, that was a guy who could sing, and that's one of the first oh, talking uh, movies. Oh, uh, uh, Gregory uh, Gregory Hines? Gregory Hines. Yeah. I mean, look, yeah, we can go on and on, yeah. man. Yeah. Uh, Bob Hope. I mean, you know, all, all the people mm-hmm. did a combination of, of both. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, uh, now... Hell, even uh, Tom Waits. He was he was uh, in Dracula. He, he was in Dracula for crying yeah. out loud. Yeah, he was awesome. Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, did you know Tom Waits and Cool Keith did a song together? Really, Doctor Octagon himself. Yeah, they did. The song is not all they. Oh, but that it, sucks. But it, oh, that's but too it, bad. It's, hey. it's okay. But yeah, they did a song together. That's cool. But uh, uh, man, all these people that you mentioned here, actually. Uh, I think the weakest one. I'm not even saying this because of his greatest hits, but Chris, Chris Brown. Uh-huh. But Chris Brown was okay in the in the movie that I saw him in. Uh-huh. Uh, but he's not. He wasn't great. But Ti was yeah. was surprisingly good at ATL. It's funny you mentioned Chris Brown. Somebody just uh, uh, somebody told me today that he's in the he was in the OC. I think he was. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. There you go. Well, yeah. Well, you know. Uh, <laughs> to put it. Uh, Look, I, 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 forgive me for saying it, but to put it uh, uh, as uh, uh, The Shining said, Larry, yeah. who's The Shining, he's like, he put on my page in big letters, that nigga's career is over. <laughs> 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 like like he was going to go for him himself. Oh, my God. Uh, but, Shining uh, gets right to the point. Yeah, he's That's saying, what I like yeah, about that guy. Yeah, you know, he, he's straightforward. <laughs> he, he don't he, bullshit. He, like, yeah, you know, everybody's <laughs> like, 
Let's <laughs> talk about the, the career of Chris Brown, and you know, they should have him on a panel. Now, if you look at Chris Brown, he has emotional problems. That, that nigga's career is over. <laughs> hey, we don't need to talk about this. Uh, but yeah, uh, T.I., who's a rapper, uh, a lot of people have been having controversies about rappers being in movies, but T.I. Mm-hmm. was good in ATL. T.I. actually mm-hmm. has some charisma, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, Justin Timberlake, I think, is a good actor. He's mm-hmm. actually funny. In Alpha Dog, he was really good. Never and, saw it. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I, I, to sum it up, nothing mm-hmm. new. And no. if they can act, fine. Yeah. If they can't, fuck them. Uh, well, yeah, we'll, we'll let it be known. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you suck. Just like Jessica Simpson. You suck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> just get, just get naked yeah. and shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's somebody that didn't need to act. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and a lot of people let her know. So, uh, okay, let's see what we got here. Uh, Steven. <laughs> Hello, Steven. Yeah, the most normal name we I have. Know, I know, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah. are, you, are, you, are you sure he's not one of Steven, our, but he's not one of our bosses? <laughs> yeah, Steven's looking like, oh? Uh, he, he, okay, he says, I found that I tend to offend people with my new sense of criticism I have gained from being at Spill. (laughs) Join the club, man. Turn you into a dick, too. (laughs) (laughs) And have actually hurt people's feelings because of it. I've noticed that many movies I would have enjoyed had I not been exposed to criticism I now hate. Have you guys noticed this with yourselves at all? And maybe even regret becoming a critic sometimes for that very reason? No, I do not. because (laughs) We've become a monster. Yeah, we've created monsters and (laughs) become a monster. Uh, no, I do not, because I appreciate the I, I appreciate the, the 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 education that I've that I have mm-hmm. from watching a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say it's jaded, but no, I don't think I'm jaded. I just right. see a lot of things repeated, and I and I and I like having that knowledge. Right. I mean, I don't regret anything, Stephen. And, and I'm you know, and I want to hear your opinion mm-hmm. on this. I'm just gonna say. The thing I do though, I don't mm-hmm. know if Stephen's doing this. Mm-hmm. I don't go around telling people my opinions. Like right. my opinion is. Is, is law, is law is, yeah is gospel you know i don't go I now that's people, that's annoying yeah yeah if you're going around telling people if you're spouting off things like that movie suck you know people are having a good time they're talking and right. you're like man well t- i saw it and t- it right. sucked i mean people gonna yeah. be like mr fucking killjoy over here. right exactly and, that, you, and yeah. that's something that's something about your personality that you should work on you should at least try i can understand being passionate but only do it to get a reaction out of people, which is usually what that's for. Yeah, yeah. that's not cool. You know, I've never hurt people's feelings doing this because I yeah. tell people. I mean, I, I've told people like, yeah. "Hey, look, I didn't like it, but if right. you liked it, then mm-hmm. that's that you. If you had some enjoyment out of it, that's you." Yeah, I'm, what, who am I to tell you? If you're I can tell, yeah, if I can tell somebody's like talking passionately about a movie I just hate and despise. I just keep my mouth shut, you yeah. know, and I'll just go, "All right, that's cool." And man, but you know, it's like, how important is is it to you to try to correct them or change their mind on a fucking movie? You on know? a movie, <laughs> yeah, on a movie for crying out loud. Yeah, if it were like being a racist or something, then that, yeah, you, you, yeah, try to convince somebody you know who you know says some stupid things every once in a while. Give them a little piece of your mind as far as, hey, dude, that's not so cool when you say that shit. <laughs> but uh, yeah. as far as a movie, who who cares? No, you know, as far as what you were saying about. Uh, uh, you know, people, people, uh, when they don't like hearing your opinion about certain things and, and consider that you don't know how to have fun at, a, at, a, at certain films or whatever, you don't know, like, like a lot of these popcorn films that have been coming out that, you know, I just don't care about where people are like, oh man, well, you know, it's just a fun, dumb ride. And I'm like, but you know what? I've seen other fun, dumb rides that are better that, you know, I've, I've seen enough movies to know that I, I love films and I'm a fan of films, but just because something looks cool because it was created by a computer or whatever and there's a lot of explosions it's like if if i don't get something out of it i'm not i'm not gonna hesitate to tell you i'm sorry i just i just didn't yeah. think it was that good yeah. and and you know and i can understand people that get so so emotional about certain movies like let's say the transformers where you know it's like oh how can you not like that that's just that's just a, a great movie or star wars you know they go oh you you forgot what it's like to have fun in films i was like no you obviously you, you're pulling this shit out of your ass right now because there's no real s- structure of a story there the the characters are weak I mean, but see, that's but, the case where, yeah. like, you have to say, "Well, look, yeah, 
I just well, don't like I, it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you but don't you but liked, don't attack me. Yeah, exactly. You yeah. liked it. I didn't. I mean, now we get right. into fun debates. When we kind of come when right, we come right, right out of movies and everything because that's what we do. Because this is a media. Yeah, we, we have to be entertaining. Yeah. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I don't. I'm really not in 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 this to convince people to right. not, to go to movies or to not go to movies. Right. I get a little bit uncomfortable when people say mm-hmm. I don't I don't watch anything until I hear your guys' opinions. I was like, right. no, go. You it's your opinion. You go see what you want to see. No, no, you should. Yeah, uh, you like meet the Spartans. What am I going to tell you? That's my deal. Yeah, I mean. I'm just telling you, hey, look, I, I didn't like it. So if, if if you have a feeling like you know you're in the same shit as I, I I'm into, you may not like it as well. But go fucking see it. Make make your own decision, please. Yeah, exactly. No, that's that's exactly what it comes down yeah. to. Just be careful around I, the people, man. You know, there's right. no need to like argue with people to no, the no, point no. where you're like attacking them. If you know you're being them. a dick, you know you're being a dick. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a simple fact of it. If people would just, you know, if people start, you know, just not wanting to be around you because of your opinion, then, you know, maybe maybe you should Well, it depends on how much you even give a shit, too. I mean, if if you if you're turning off people that you like, then yeah, maybe you should stop and think about, you know, hey, you know, maybe I should <laughs> chill out a yeah. bit before you run out of fucking friends, <laughs> but but yeah, but I'm, I'm, and you're gonna be alone at your house with your own fucking opinion, yeah, well, watching well, movies by watching yourself. Watching your movies about yeah. yourself, watching the movie that you love. Yeah. Like, but uh, look, and we're not making a judgment on you, Steve. We don't no, no, you no, do, we but, don't know you. But Steve, we, yeah, so. we're just saying, we're just like, saying, if that yeah. is what. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, we right. should ask that. What are you doing to hurt people's feelings? Right. Get back with us on that. Right. That's the only thing I can think of right now. Right. Uh, let's see. Do you remember when we had the. Uh, like, we were watching the Academy Awards. I make it sound like this was like a year ago. <laughs> a back year in the ago, day when we like it was just like this. What two days ago? The song and dance, Wolverine singing. I like to sing her in the moon and <laughs> June in the spring. I Stop. like to sing her. Stop! <laughs> Enough is too much. <laughs> yeah. He likes to sing her. <laughs> okay, here's uh, here's somebody, Kristoff. Uh, he says. Uh, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a fan of Spiel, but not a member because I'm already on several platforms. And somehow I'm sick of this Web 2.0 thing, at least as a participant. But guess what? He emailed us. <laughs> yeah. he, he says, but damn you, after I started this email, I realized, shit. Don't I, you have to be a member to send an email? Yeah, that's what he says. <laughs> the only way to deliver the, the message is to be a member. So oh. here we go. <laughs> damn. You're happy now. And then he's just kind of joking. But he's like, mm-hmm. he, says, uh, he says, I'm writing this because of the Oscar-winning German live action film. Uh, now, I'm going to mess it up. Spiel Zuglen. Spiel Zuglen. I think that's how you say it. Right, right. Uh, being from Germany, no Nazi, no nihilist. That's what you say. <laughs> yeah, I know you're not a Nazi. You were just taking orders. But uh, he says, uh, I, at, what the hell? Mm-hmm. I asked uh, this I asked this question. Uh, what the fuck is he talking about? Yeah, I mean, is it really, okay, he said, is it really so hard to pronounce my language? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what you about? Uh, yeah. They fucked it up at the Oscars. You really tried to pronounce yeah, it? Like, Spiegel, <laughs> Lucas, that's Dugas. probably why he's bringing it up. No, because... We're not German. Oh, oh, that's what he even says. He says, after seeing the, the guy at the Oscar fucking it up uh, too, I assume it is. Like, yes, yes. it is. All right. Yeah, I'll ask you to speak English and see how well it comes out. And if we're laughing, that means you're not doing a very good job. <laughs> and so he tries to tell us. But e uh, okay, so you is he, is he, is he teaching us? Is he yeah. tra- is he he ain't, it ain't working, man. Is he trying to translate his language to us? No, we we are not Germans. <laughs> and he says, "Greetings from a black brother in Germany." Damn, oh, they got, he wow. finally got one. <laughs> Some, he must be studied. Damn, he must. <laughs> after Obama won, they must have said, "Okay, we can let we can let, we have a Jack, a black German now too." Send out the chopper to yeah, get that motherfucker. The- <laughs> 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 he need to put his ass under a microscope. <laughs> How did know, this happen? He's yeah. a fucking science project. <laughs> yeah, what test tube did they let you out of? Yes, you like Superman. <laughs> oh, let me see here. I got uh, somebody email, uh, text messaging me text about, message. about, about Mardi Gras Tell uh, them about yeah, you know how much this thing. shit cost? Uh, okay, yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, text messaging me <laughs> yeah. with their balls. But, uh, right. okay. So, but, yeah. Uh, well, Sorry. Glad, glad to hear there is one now. Now I can go to Germany and breathe easy. <laughs> okay. I, I, they'll get both of us. Yes. No, but your your language is, is hard. Fucked up. <laughs> it it doesn't hard. roll off our tongues too well. I really admire anybody who can speak yeah. German because yeah. all, I, all I hear is splacking, splacking when people no, talk to it's me. It's a, yeah. I'm a robot. I can't even speak this shit. <laughs> all right. Okay, this is <laughs> you can better speak English. <laughs> okay, uh, he says uh, this is from Paradox. He says this is for Coco R. I'm a goat and I drink my own milk. Nice. Now you fucked it up. See, is that language really that hard? He'll spill. <laughs> yeah. It's a goat and I eat my own milk. And I eat my own right. milk. He says, do you think Ledger would have won an Oscar if he was still alive? It seemed like because the Dark Knight was passed over, 
and the other categories because it's a comic book movie that he might not have. Uh, After seeing how it was at the Oscars, that's a good question, man. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would have been like, yeah, he'd win, but... No, I I definitely think he'd win. I mean, his, his that that... I think regardless of his uh, death, um, the Joker character was just it, it, that it was a it was, it, it, it was mesmerizing. And you got to say, you know, people are dressing up, pretending to be the Joker. They're not dressing up as Heath Ledger. They're dressing up on Halloween. And I'm talking about everyone. I mean, saying Joker lines, quoting that shit right after the movie comes out. There's about 50 goddamn YouTube videos of people doing lines from the Dark Knight. I mean, that's. That's something to be praised, you know. Yeah. That 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 made an effect on people, and uh, it should be recognized. Yeah, I mean, it'd be silly for it. To, you don't see half those people dressing up like those other motherfuckers who were nominated. <laughs> uh, no, you you're right. I yeah. mean, what can I say? It it, had, it left a cultural impact. It I mean, did. Yeah. Now a lot of characters do, and they don't win Academy Awards, so mm-hmm. I, I can't just go by that standard. But mm-hmm. uh, I do think I personally think that mm-hmm. yeah, he pr- the, the, people would have been so vocal about him winning even if he was alive right. but being dead I yeah. think that it yeah, struck that's, it, that's, that's sealed yeah. It. Yeah. it and it struck a chord in the culture so yeah I mean and uh, honestly it's hard to tell man I mean mm-hmm. it really is hard to tell I mean mm-hmm. that 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 left such an impact on people itself his death mm-hmm. that uh, I don't know if, if beforehand it would have because he died mm-hmm. r- uh, right before the movie was released right mm-hmm. so who knows if he hadn't died Mm-hmm. I think that I think that's debatable if he would have gotten nominated mm-hmm. or not. But anyway, I, I I I honestly think he would have gotten it regardless. So. I, oh, yeah, and I, I look, I think he got it, but I honestly don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, this is from Eugene. Eugene left me a long uh, paragraph about uh, Asian actors. I'm not going to read it, but I'll get straight to the point here because I think it's a good question. He says, "Are there any movies you can think of where the leading man was an Asian American?" Excluding martial arts movies like Jackie Chan or Jet Li. Well, <laughs> and if, if that's the case, then no. Yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> or do you think that Hollywood has yet to be comfortable with Asian American men being leading man quality? Uh, I think in serious roles, yeah, they they mm. still they still have yet to to think that Asian men can carry a movie. Right. I think they just not seen. And it's the same way. I think that my debate was with uh, black men. I, I don't think that. Uh, well, Jewish or white Hollywood mm-hmm. sees anything but the han- the handsome white man as being right. a complete serious leading man. Now, it's we, changed a little bit yeah. with black people. Well, well, you, well, you think well, you think about uh, the ones who are, who are really getting it, which, which you know, who are the Mexicans. God knows they're a, a they're pretty much a good percentage of this of this country right now. I mean, and they really don't have well, any real leading guy out there who's. You know, uh, I, I wouldn't as, say that. No, I, I well, who who would you say? Who? Uh, Benjamin Bratt. Uh, uh, but but how many how many fucking movies has that guy? Uh, Andy in? Garcia. Uh, how many they, how many movies what, have you what, seen man, since that been, guy? They've been in, they've been in quite a. But few. they've had they've had like not like leading. They're no Brad Pitts. Well, who is? You know, what I mean, that's what All I'm right. saying. I mean, nobody's going to get to that level. I I think that uh, I think that Latino men have had it probably. A, a better shot at being leading man than anybody else yeah. in the minority factor because they even got that whole, that whole, uh, 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 that that whole mystique of the Latin lover. Yeah, but it's I mean, it, it, that. I mean, they even let but, Ricky but, Ricardo but, marry but, a white woman on a sitcom, yeah. and nobody had a problem right. with it. Everybody but, was cool. But the thing is, the, the fact is, is that they still haven't had a role where they're just playing a, a leading, just a leading guy as far as like without the whole culture of being thrown in there as far as, obviously, this is a Mexican guy. This, really? You think I mean, so? Because I think I, I Andy think Garcia so. has yeah. done that. I think that Andy Garcia's nah. been in movies where it's not been uh, paid attention to his race. I'm, in fact, I think well, people I can who say, are wondering where, if Andy Garcia is, they didn't know for But, I mean, how many, I mean, I, when, when you say Andy Garcia, all I can think about is The Untouchables, which he had a small role that was like his breakout performance, and The Godfather Three, which Well, sucked. see, I think he's been right. in some forgettable movies where he has been a leading man, no. Right. Uh, but I mean, I, as far as Asians go, I, mm. I, I don't think anybody re- like black men have finally broke mm. in. And I think I do think Latino men have a shot. But as mm-hmm. far as Asians, I don't think anybody sees. No. You still have the stereotype of being seen as the smart, goofy guy, or you have to be some mystical character right. like a shogun or a samurai or a karate right. expert or something, mm-hmm. or you have to be funny to mm-hmm. be a leading man. Uh, thinking about what's his name in uh, Harold and Kumar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was that? What's his name? I can't. I don't. I don't fucking. Anyway, know the guy. Harold. <laughs> no. Harold, not the Harold. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna call him. Yeah. 
But so. I, I, I do. I'll do say. I, I, I do. Uh, as far as that uh, goes, uh, I applaud um, Edward James almost for uh, his run on Battlestar Galactica has been amazing. And honestly, oh, yeah, go. his character, his character is. Yeah, it's, it, they really don't. That's the funny thing about that show. Is he's obviously he's Mexican, but you know he has a son who's like who's white who's being played by an English actor. But you don't really give a shit. So uh, my my uh, you know I applaud those guys for for doing that for not making it an issue. Uh, it's a guy just doing his job, you know, and doing a fucking badass job on that show. So. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, you, I think every, I didn't even yeah, think I, about that. I yeah. mean, on television, yeah. maybe it's different. I don't yeah, know. television's. You know, honestly, I think that's just thinking about it right now. I think television is going to be the one opportunity where people of any race, or you know, regardless of race or or you know your your sex, uh, I think people are shining more on television as far as taking on roles that Hollywood, you know, the motion pictures uh, would never give them. Because it seems TV uh, is is taking more of a bigger uh, leap than films are right now, as far as their material and and you know their subject matter mm-hmm. and uh, just giving you good solid stories for crying mm-hmm. out loud. There's just plenty of TV shows that are far superior than a lot of these movies that have come out in the longest time. Yeah, so, okay, you know, I, I, that's I think of it. Yeah, if there's any breakout, I think it'll be done on TV first. And, that's you know, a good point, man. So, that yeah. that is that's an excellent point. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll answer a couple of more here. Uh, right. Joe Gilligan says, "What is your favorite Oscar-winning song? Mine is Can You Feel the Love Tonight' from The Lion King, Into the West from Lord of the Rings, and the most recent Sai Sai Ho from Slumdog." Uh, I don't, I don't even know enough history of Oscar-winning songs to say that. I will say yeah. one of the most impressive events that I saw for an Oscar-winning song is when Three Six Mafia won for, yeah. <laughs> for uh, cause that song you never would have thought yeah. they'd be an Oscar-winning song no, not years at all. ago. And when they won for Hustle and Flow, that was out of left field with that song. I was <laughs> and like, and they wow. were straight up gangsters when they went up on stage. They did not they care. They, took, they when, took over that show. They yes. sounded like a, uh, uh, it sounded like a, a, a surfer when they came up there. Cause you heard him. I swear, I heard what I'm saying. What give this to my to my nook off the the pookie or something. <laughs> <laughs> they they like like they were drunk as hell and they went yeah, up there. They were. But anyway, you got one? No. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, that's that's I, a I avoid all musical acts <laughs> during the award yeah, show. They yeah, should yeah, they yeah. should ban that shit if you ask me. <laughs> I thought that was the biggest I, I, weakness the, out of the <laughs> Academy Awards this year. Man, the the one singing that, and dancing bullshit. Well, I'm, yeah, oh man, I, I, that singing and dancing is so cheesy. It gets on my nerves. Yeah. And I gotta tell you, man. Uh, mm-hmm. The thing that really bothers that bothered me from the last Academy Award, and I think about it more and more, was when they brought those people out looking like I, I keep saying this, but this is only mm-hmm. I can think of looking like the Krypton Council when they brought all the actors out to like give <laughs> their three cents on uh, on the actors who are up for. Uh, oh, Academy you mean that shit? Yeah, the like, Krypton Council. I'm like, come on, man. Guilty. Shit. Yeah, guilty. <laughs> guilty. Yeah, Academy yeah. Awards goes to guilty. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh. We'll Make a, it a good we'll one. We'll do a Corey. couple of more. Okay, we'll go to somebody who we haven't had before. All right. Uh, this is from this is from Trenton. And Trenton. Trenton says, "What do you think about Inglori- the Inglorious Bastards trailer? Do you mm. think the movie's going to be good? It looks fucking sick, and sick means good on him. the The show is cool." Even though you don't care about the Native Americans, man, who said well, I care anything <laughs> about Native Americans? Damn, man. Corey. oh, I guess I joked about that one time. No, Racist I, best. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> see that? See you, gay people out there. See right. we fit. We look at the Native Americans. You They're go, upset. you go on about the blacks. We, we took this country. We stole their home, Corey. <laughs> we took it over, man. That's another thing that makes me upset. It's a forgotten like, race. Looking at listening to like a, a Native American history, that shit upsets me, man. Well, it, how can it not? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I almost wiped it out of the history books. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, have much love for the Native Americans. Mm-hmm. Y'all got some fine ass women too. <laughs> uh, that long black hair boy. All right, but, okay, down. all right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> let's, man, what can I say? I the trailer to me looks it looks like it could be cool but i mean mm-hmm. looks to, there's nothing in there that made me say wow really i mean it looks like it be, i mean i'm you honestly to, okay what do you think i uh i i'll be the first one to say it i thought it kind of looked silly so uh i was like I, I it it almost looked like they were making a comedy so uh i felt like i was about to watch a comedy to be honest i mean I picked up the script again and started reading it, 
And is, uh, is, is there anything that and, uh, and even with the script is hard for me to tell? I mean, it's yeah. it, it, the I mean, looking at the cast, I mean, they have that one kid with the kind of Jufro from Freaks and Geeks, and I mean, the, the uh, a majority of the 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 soldiers look like a bunch of schlubs. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is okay. I I can't tell. I can't tell anymore if this is going to be like a balls of the wall action film or a straight out comedy. <laughs> because looking at these guys who are portraying these super badasses, I just yeah, you didn't, I didn't, you didn't get that it. vibe. I, I almost thought they were doing like a parody. I, it, well, and reading the script, it could be a really clever movie, and I haven't got mm-hmm. through the whole thing yet. Uh, I, mm-hmm. it, I tell you this much: it does have me kind of hooked. I mean, I want to get mm-hmm. through it, but mm-hmm. at the same time, looking at that trailer uh, and even knowing, recognizing the things that they mentioned in the script, mm-hmm. I'm like. I, Hey, what can I say, man? I don't know. I really don't yeah. know. Like I said, it, it just made it just watching it, it. It 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 just made me think. Okay, well, we'll see how that turns out. So yeah, especially no. seeing Eli Roth. I mean, I was like, yeah, I, I get know. so you, annoyed when I'm starting to see you got, directors you kinda, become actors. I'm like, oh, well, you kind of feel like Quentin Tarantino became friends with Eli Roth. Yeah, and that's how I got him in. I don't want to see all his fucking friends in a movie. I, I mean, because yeah, yeah. it takes me out of the film. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it becomes I, like a Rat Pack type it, thing. Yeah, like and that's yeah. that's fucking annoying. I never watched any of those Ocean Eleven films because. Just looking at those trailers, they just annoy the fuck yeah, out of me. Yeah, a bunch of guys with friends hanging out. I don't want to see friends hanging out. I want to watch a movie. I don't want to think, <laughs> oh, it's Brad Pitt hanging out with yeah, You George motherfuckers went on a vacation, and yeah, I got to pay to watch yeah, your whole You guys movies. are getting laid over there fucking filming some bullshit. <laughs> yeah, having a good time gambling. And I'm and I'm the jackass fucking purchasing it, watching it. Yeah. You know, fucking I hear you, bro. throwing money your fucking way. I hear way. you. Yeah. Shit, I, I'm right behind you. I hear fuck you. that. Fuck your friends. Fuck your fuck friends. Your friends. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck your friends. <laughs> All right. We're gonna do we're gonna do a couple more here. Uh let's see. Uh Corey, where can I buy myself a co-host to buy? Uh, where, can I, where can I find <laughs> myself a co and this is from Julian H. Where can I find right. myself a co-host to buy? I looked on Amazon.com and couldn't find one. P.S. I loved how pissed Carlisle got in my Mac Rib reference in the Coco. It don't take much to set Carlisle off. I mean, one word, like you mentioned Batman. He's like, motherfucker! I told you my rule, no fucking Batman. <laughs> And one dude mentioned the Mac Rib. He got mad. Yeah. Fucking Mac Rib, man. It's a boneless sandwich. How you fucking cook that thing? And no fucking Mac Ribs here either. Like, then we mentioned Baby Kids from uh, from the long time ago. Uh-huh. I don't know nothing fucking about Baby Kids. I don't care about shit about Baby Holy fucking shit. Kids. You don't fucking read that email to me. And I'm like, God damn, man. You know what that brother needs? He needs a case of drink. <laughs> slow your he roll. He needs to slow his roll. No, nah, we, we actually had a good time, though, on Sunday night, man. He brought by some donuts. And they were, man, nice. the donuts were cool. Yeah, he brought by some donuts. We had a good time, yeah. man. Yeah, we actually, he was, he was real cool. Cool. Uh, co host, you can't buy one. You got to have it custom built. Yeah, that's right. Had, told you, co host was built by an Asian guy mm-hmm. I was roommates with. Mm-hmm. But. Even then, you don't know if you want one because the way I got it, the co-host, is because he said, I can't take this smart-ass machine no more. And I built it. He's like, Corey, you do something with this motherfucker. I'm going to go build another one. He's your roommate now? What? He, <laughs> he was my roommate. I, I was, thought he was some dude. I th- are you sure? He was Raymond. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. It makes no, perfect he, sense. Dude I went to school with. <laughs> okay. My Asian or- guy. My origin is always changing. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. You just don't remember. <laughs> I, think, I think you're lying half the time. <laughs> you gotta, I got to hit you on the side of the head sometimes. <laughs> like, Your whole life's been a lie. <laughs> wait a minute, Corey. I thought you said that that guy lived... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lived together at one yeah. time. Yeah. No, unless, you're a hot, unless you're a hot spill broad, then uh, we'll negotiate something as far as uh, <laughs> you having the original. <laughs> yes. All right. Metal master of disaster. All right. And we got one more here. Mm-hmm. I'll read one more. And this is one from, for the road. Uh, well, this is from Life in Chartreuse. Mm-hmm. Question for a couple wow, of cold ones. Well, fuck it. You and go get it on. Let's do this. What All a right? name. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking about going into film after high school, but I'm not sure. It's your exactly. fault. <laughs> yeah, don't, tell us, don't tell us your problems. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure exactly what kind of thing to do. I would love to write for the screen and do that sort of deal, but direction is also something I'm interested in. What advice do you have on studying film and deciding what type of work to do in the industry? Thanks. Don't fuck uh, it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't do porn. We actually had one guy fresh out of high school talking about, I'm doing porn with my friends. And we were like, don't do that, That's man. Right. Sorry, please don't do that. Yeah, that, kid, uh, like that poor kid's on Skid Row right now. <laughs> <laughs> But real quick, man, let me tell you something. The way to break into it, you got some people start low. 
they they go in, they become uh, runners on the set, they become mm-hmm. gaffers, they do they they do they, they do like the the gopher job, right? Uh, they do the shit jobs, and they they slowly make connections and work their, work their way up. Uh, the other thing that you can do is look. You, a lot of people they love films so much that that's what they did. They watched tons mm-hmm. of films, then they went out and start making movies on their own, or they went out and start writing on their own. Mm-hmm. You have a passion for it, and you're good. Somebody's going to discover you, right? A good combination of both is to be passionate about film in your spare time. Live, breathe it, make it. Just don't mm-hmm. sit on your ass talking about no. this, this This world is full of millions of motherfuckers that say, I want to make something. Right. And they don't do a fucking thing. You're but sitting about on it. a couch, throwing around ideas. Your ass is never going to fucking. Yeah. yeah you yeah. you have to do it. Don't you, throw around ideas. And, write. Write yeah. that shit. Write that shit. <laughs> film it. Be proactive. The best combination is to be proactive. Do right. it. Mm-hmm. While at the same time, yes. taking these little shit jobs or these mm-hmm. uh, entry jobs and then mm-hmm. making your connections. Right. Because. You know what? You're going to be connected to people, mm-hmm. and then you're going to also have a product to show. Because yeah. I guarantee you, you know, there's plenty of shitty films out there, so those guys are doing something right. But the thing is, the key word is they are doing. Exactly. So. You want, <laughs> all those people that you like to criticize, yeah. I have to, even people that I criticize, I have to yeah. say, well, you know what? They're, they're yeah. fucking doing it. Yeah. <laughs> they're making money. Maybe you got those, those people yeah. who they were born into it. and We are watching yeah. their fucking movie. Yeah. So, yeah, they, <laughs> their mission is accomplished. But for those people who started from scratch and didn't have, they weren't born to a famous family. They're still or, scratching. Uh, oh, they, they weren't born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or they, weren't, they weren't born into money and they went out and did it. Well, you know what they did? They had the, they had the drive to do it. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, yeah, Cole. Yeah, yes. It's 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 coming up on that hour, man. It, I, I, I think we ain't got no more to talk about. It is time. I'm, I'm to gonna try go. to go out here and catch some titties before it's over. Hey, people, I'm not really gonna do that. <laughs> I actually, I actually hate Mardi Gras when women get uh, raised at tops because you know what happens. Mm. First of all, I can't have those those breasts. Right. And second of all, it's always the fat ones. <laughs> like, no, no, you got actually. I'm surprised how many good looking. <laughs> well, you know what? we live in Austin, so yeah, there's it's a better buffet here. But the thing is, yeah. I remember in New Orleans, oh, there were oh, a lot of people taking there. off shirts that should not be fucking taken yeah. off. You there, saw like so, some of those girls need to put padlocks on the goddamn shirt, connect them <laughs> to the jeans, so that shit won't ever happen again. I know, man. <laughs> you had women whose stomach looked like one big breast before they got to their real breast. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. yeah. So, Where does the breast end and the stomach in the stomach begin, and vice versa? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah. But you got guys out there who act like they've never seen breasts before, and all of a sudden it turns into a zombie film. They're like. <gasps> Exactly. Oh no! It is it is some scary shit, it's, girls. Yeah, be be careful out there. If you're yeah. out doing that shit, I mean, well, they, it'll be too late, and you <laughs> and you already know who you are. Yeah, but exactly. uh, yeah, just be careful. Don't yeah. uh, really, expect craziness when you. I like do that to tell girls stuff. when they go out there. I like to say, you know, have a little respect for yourself. Don't, yeah, don't, hey, don't, I, don't go out there. I always appreciate the girls who don't do that. Exactly. All I'm yeah. thinking is. God damn, I wish they'd raise up their shirt or something. <laughs> I oh. wish it was me. <laughs> no, I, I, I think about the girls who aren't doing that. So as, as far as the ones, yeah, yeah. Keeping yeah. it private yeah, for your yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What yeah. you don't see is usually a lot better. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. More I'll for go. the imagination, there I always you go. say. There you go. You're, you're, you're a gentleman and a scholar, co-host. Yes. It's all right. And so then a ruthless it's, bastard. It's, uh, it's about that time, man. Oh! Here, this has been Let's Do This. That's right. So we getting out of here. We're gonna let's do this. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Yeah. I like that theory. Like, oh. <laughs> Good night, y'all. Night.